welcome back to circuit digest now in in today's tutorial we are going to discuss about wave share 1.54 inch e paper display so this is e paper display so it's come with uh, e paper display and this is the jumper wire cable so we will connect this protocol or this uh, port to these pins of this e paper display so this will communicate using SVI communication so this is a wave share 1.5 inch e paper display module with SPI interface and it has a resolution of 200 to 200 pixels and it has it has an embedded controller module and it communicates through SPI interface and allows for partial refresh and this display offers a huge advantage of ultra low power consumption because they don't have backlight panels and don't require a continuous power supply to to display uh, the data on the screen so this one is a one advantage of this 1.5 uh, inch e paper display and uh, it also offers a broad viewing angle and a good viewing effect in the sun so it is excellent choice for cell labels industrial instruments and other similar applications so in this tutorial we are going to use 1.54 inch e paper display uh, with our uh, arduino uno you can see uh, there are six pins uh, in this 1.54 inch e paper display so these pins are used for the SPI communication or SPI protocol so first pin is VCC second one is the ground third one is the DIN second one is the clock uh, then CS DC reset and DZ so we connect these pins to our Arduino UNO we are going to discuss about the advantage and disadvantage of this e paper display so this e paper displays displays are not like that the traditional LCD or OLED display it is like the ink on the paper so the characteristics makes e-paper display very comfortable to read and they have very excellent readability and the direct sunlight uh, so uh, one another uh, great thing about this e-paper display is that they can hold static test and image for a month without electricity so now you can see here here I didn't connect it with any controller or with any Arduino so uh, then also it's showing uh, this uh, logo on this display so uh, so this one is the main advantage of this e-paper display and we can use this e-paper display in in battery powered project because it consumes very less power so this is the few advantages of this e-paper display and the dis and the disadvantage of this e paper display is that so uh, the price of this e paper display is very high as compared to other display and one another significant disadvantage of this e paper display uh, so it takes a lot of time to update as much it takes to to two to three seconds so so this display only helpful for the static test and images and not for animation so so we cannot give animation to this 1.54 inch e paper display so here you can see the power consumption is very less uh, when we are using this uh, 1.54 inch e paper display but if we are updating this or if we are going to upload the code in this then you can see the power uh, power consumption has been increases so now we have uploading the code so so you can see here the power uh, the power consumption has been in increases currently it is 0 0.01 ampere uh, micro ampere so now it's increases you can see uh, clearly in this display so now here you can see we have interfaced our uh, uh, 1.54 inch e paper display with uh, Arduino UNO 
so now now we will see we are going to execute code store in this arduino you know and see what happened in this uh, 1.54 inch e paper display so now you can see we are going to run on the program so now you can see what changes will happen in this uh, 1.54 inch e paper display so it takes time because uh, there are very less memory in Arduino you know so that's why it take uh, 7 to 8 seconds so now you can see uh, the first one is a, wel a welcoming message welcome to circuit digest and after a uh, few seconds you may see the logo of circuit digest so this one is a complete tutorial uh, in this tutorial I have uh, teach like how to print text in e-paper display and how to print logo or how to print image uh, in this 1.54 inch e-paper display so thank you for watching this video